Oh, Jeremy, have you thought any more about applying for Bethel? Oh, I have. I pure love hearing your stories about Bethel. Makes me wish I was there myself. I might have an application form in my car. We could have a coffee and fill it in. What do you say? Aye, magic. If we leave the car here, we can still count time, aye? Of course. Bethel will be so good for you. Make me the man I am today. When it's all said and done, two heads together can be better than one. This section three here is a wee bit personal. What do you think of that one there? Have you ever had a homosexual relationship? Well, no, obviously. Oh, well, never mind. Bethel will fix that. Eh? Oh, nothing. I'm just being silly. Although, I should confess, I have had gay feelings. But I think that was because I was under the influence of masturbation. It was making me gay, you know. But the calendar I was given, oh, that has really helped. Well, jolly good. Right, we should get back to the cards. Aye, right. Oh, they have fabulous soft furnishings in there. It's about time I got a couple of new pillows. What about this fella here? Well, hmm, he seems straight. Uh, yes, but this elf has forwarded a copy of his special calendar. Oh, he has been a busy boy. He really has been. How did Gary the bro put it? There is no reason to be embarrassed while under the influence of masturbation. I'd say he's borderline gay. Excellent. That's another one who can work safely with our dear sisters. Now the same people allowed here in Bethel. Right, now you two young ladies in that induction room right there, and you fine young men, you all are in here with me. As Hebrews chapter 2 says, we invite you to pay more than the usual attention to things heard. This is mostly because of technical issues. This broadcast has all the right words, just not necessarily in the right order, <laughs> if you get my meaning. Here at Bethel, we have some of the most outstanding young men in the organization. There is no reason to be embarrassed about what we're going to discuss. Frankly, you might be embarrassed. That's not uncommon. The governing body loves you and wants you to experience the great joy that comes from masturbation. Jehovah made that a part of a man's reproductive system. For example, say a brother wears an undergarment that's so tight it rubs his penis as he moves around. He gets aroused and even ejaculates. Is he masturbating? Yes, he is. That's not easy for an imperfect man, but it certainly isn't beyond us either. Suppose a brother starts rubbing his genitals against a pillow. Is he masturbating? Yes. First, flirting. Could persons of the same sex start to flirt? Consider a situation. A group of single brothers has a meal together. Two of them remain behind in the room. 
At one point, one asked the other if he has ever woken up with an erection. Could you have been sleeping in a position that stimulated you, such as with a blanket or pillow held tightly between your legs? Is he just displaying personal interest? He would reasonably be viewed as flirting. That's really a wonderful gift from Jehovah. Because of it, can fan what starts out as a spark into the flame of jaw, a love that lasts a lifetime and keeps growing. Next, we'd like to help you to clearly understand what the Bible means by the phrase sexual immorality. It always involves genitals and at least one other person or animal. The elders always have to provide assistance. Suppose a brother pays a stripper to perform a lap dance. He is committing pornea by allowing her to use his leg to stimulate her own genitals. Do you have the habit of excessively touching other brothers, hugging them tightly, slapping their buttocks, rubbing them, giving them massages, and so on? That doesn't mean that you or they are homosexuals. Two brothers masturbate in front of each other, but without touching each other. Is it pornea? The answer is no. Why do you think that is? It's our heartfelt prayer that you, our precious young brothers, will keep your pillow held tightly between your legs and joyfully walk in the law of Jehovah forever. Is that a pornea? A wee dirty dog. Dude, that was awesome. Where do I, like, get a pillow? Oh. Well, it's all right for you. I have to start work in the laundry department tomorrow with Brother Charlie Chester. Bethel, according to the Bible, was for the longest time a place of false worship with its high places, sacred pillows, and calf worship. One can only imagine what has been going on in the modern-day Bethels that required the production of such a training video today. My